Yes, this is the new Corvette C7. Give me a second to gracefully climb out of there. And when I first drove this car, my passenger was the chief interior designer for the car. If I hadn't lost my notebook, I could tell you his name. Anyway, and I congratulated him on the fact that while General Motors was developing some of the best cars they've ever built, including this one, they were essentially bankrupt. GM stood for government motors. The US government and the Canadian government bailed them out. And I said, while there was so much uncertainty in your organization, how did you actually get around to building such cool cars as this? And he said, well, it's funny. We went there to the US Secretary of the Treasury with all of our fuel economy, all of our hybrid stuff, all of our economy thing, all the, all the stuff. And they told us, forget that stuff. You don't make any money on those cars. Keep building Corvettes. That's where your profits are. They don't sell a lot of them, but they make a lot of money every time they do it. Plus, two of the people that they were talking to, well, imagine your stereotype of somebody who'd work for the Secretary of the Treasury, right? They'd be the most boring, square people you'd ever, never invite them to a party. Two of them were Corvette owners. Who would have figured? So they told General Motors, go out and build really, really good cars. Maybe we make some money. So now we got the new Corvette. We got those new Cadillacs we've been seeing. The new Impala is a spectacular car. So, geez, maybe the government did do something right for a change. I'm Jim Kenson. Thank <laughs> you.